Hello beautiful souls, this is Julie with Into Heart Space and we're here looking at your collective energy for May. Also I have a couple announcements that I wanted to make before getting into the energy that everyone's going to feel in some degree, whether it's personally or if it's around you, this energy is going to just be around in the ether as the collective all month, all of May. But before we get into that, uh, I wanted to just give a couple announcements that my Patreon is a go, and so we do have patrons already signed up. So please go check that out. It is awesome. There's a lot of different tiers, a lot of different things that you can get. And as the, the amount goes up, you get more of me through the month. So I send you tarot cards, or we can do check-ins to make sure everything's going okay during the month. And if you can't afford that, that's okay. There's a dollar tier where you get all of the love readings. So the love readings will no longer be on YouTube. The only love reading that will be on YouTube is for uh, the birthday month of that month. Also, I'm doing a promotion on Instant Go where you can get a free question from me answered via text on the Instant Go app. Go check out my video about the free promotion on Instant Go to find out how to do that. It's um, only the first 10 uh, uh, subscribers get to use it and it has to be people who are new to Instant Go. So if you're already part of Instant Go and already have gotten a reading, sorry. Sorry, but if you haven't and you've been kind of inquisitive and wondering what happens, then go check out that video because you get a, a, a free uh, reading with me. So go check that out. So let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading, calling in the divine. What is the collective energy of May? What does a collective need to know for May? Okay, it just popped out like that. And it's actually three. <laughs> so we have life force, the snake. We have rainbow, forgiveness. And then we have the owl, awareness. Okay. Don't we need this every single month? Don't we need forgiveness, awareness, and life force every single month? Doesn't it feel that way? But this month in May, really focus on that individually for yourself. To keep yourself really solid, really strong, and also staying apt to what is happening around you. There's going to be a lot of shifts and changes happening this month. There's a lot of signs. I already did your monthly readings. And... Uh, there's a lot of signs that are going to be doing some drastic shifts, some for really, really good for the better, and some that are just transitional, you know, that, that idea of um, the tower, you know, the tower energy, things falling apart so it can begin anew. That's happening too. So really think of the life force within you and with the snake too. The snake is a really misunderstood, you know, creature. I personally, it's not, I'm not the fondest of snakes and I should probably learn to accept them more. But the thing is a snake is a snake is a snake. It doesn't pretend to be anything else except for what it is. It doesn't play possum and play dead. It doesn't, you know, um, give you sweet little eyes to get more food. It's a snake. And if it's hungry, it'll eat. And if it's not, it won't. And if it thinks it's in danger, it will strike. All right, so I, that is something that we can take and also put into our awareness to stay very clear about who we are and how we react and act to others around us. Be true to yourself. In a way, be a snake. A, you know a snake is poisonous. You know a snake can strike. It's not a bad thing. That's simply who the snake is. If you don't want that to happen, then don't be around it. All right? But take those little nuggets of, of beauty from the snake of just being true to who it is. That's what, that's what happens. 
Now, with forgiveness, with the rainbow. For those who are struggling in that, struggling in just staying very clear of with who we are and what you are, forgive yourself and forgive those around you. We're, we're going through a lot. There's a lot of shifts. There's a lot of changes going on. Taurus season has been kind of crazy. We've got Chiron that just went into Aries. Holy cow. You know, we've got some major planets in retrograde. Saturn's retrograde, Pluto's retrograde. So we're, we're having to rethink, redo all of these aspects of ourselves. And we just got out of Mercury retrograde last month. So there's a lot of this energy that is still floating around of just re reiterating what we know, uh, relearning what we need to, to continue on. And so, you know, just be a little gentle with yourself and with those around you. We're all going through it. We're all going through this antsy shift. Like, I want, I want it now. I want it to happen now. But it's not happening. Right? It's not. Because you, ha you're, you still have some things that you need to plan and the things that you need to get together. This cosmic shift that is happening is going to take a couple years, my friends. This isn't going to just happen. And it's been going on for some time. And even, even though I just said like a couple of years, it's going to go way past that. So... Up into 2020 and 2025, we are going through a ginormous energetic shift within our collective. And we are all part of it and we are, we're all feeding it. So are you going to feed it positively and be forgiving and aware of what's happening around you so that it's not a surprise to you when a snake appears in the grass, when there's a snake in the grass, where snakes are, right? So take all this in, take all this in this in May and really get yourself smooth, get yourself secure and satisfied in some degree of like, okay, I got this. I know I'm not completely there and I know there's still a lot of things that I need to redo, but I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I can, I can add some patience to it and I can forgive myself for wanting more right now when I know that I'm gonna have the world at my fingertips if I just keep on my path. So keep that up. And also, just be loving. Be loving to everyone. Gosh, man, I have so many of my clients have come up and their hearts have been torn out of their, their, their chest. And I, I just want to reiterate that while you're walking through. And that doesn't mean be all googly and, you know, let people walk over you. But, like, when you are saying something, even when it is in argument, even when it is uh, in, in defiance, do it from a loving place. Have your foundation from there so that when you are speaking, it's your truth, but it's from a place that is good for you and for the people who hear all right, so you don't have to agree with everything that's going on. Hell, most of the stuff, I'm like, are you kidding me? Did that just, really? What? How, how did that happen? What is going on with this world, right? But when I talk to others, even like when we feel that energy, it comes from a place of, I want to be better, and I want you to be better. So that we can rise up, so we can take our collective up higher. And the only way that's going to happen is if you come from that place of love, even in defiance, even in anger, even in confusion. Like, wait, I'm confused. Help me understand so I can move forward with you. See the difference be between, oh, I'm confused. I don't get it. I give up. It must be stupid. What's that all about? No, stop that. Like, really, find your, find your energy find your life force and let the life force flow through you in love in honesty in respect for you and those around you and when that happens that's when the real shift happens that's when you can really shift into the gear that you need to go in is when you come from a foundation of love of life force okay so, if you want a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, go to my website, find me on Instant Go, go look at that video so you can get a free reading and become a patron. Okay, let's move on to our readings. Hello, Gemini. This is Julie with Into Heart Space, and we are looking at the energy of May 2018. 
All right, so let's get straight into it. Calling in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. Calling in the divine. What messages for Gemini of May 2018 do they need to know? What's the energy? What guidance? What messages for Gemini in May of 2018? Let's see. All right, and we have, oh, holy moly, there's a lot of cards here too. Okay, we have the Two of Wands reversed. We have the Two of Cups reversed. The Ace of Cups reversed. Holy moly, Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, so I, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the rest of the cards in a minute, but I already am getting compelled just to start talking because we have a couple blocks happening. We have some, we have some energy happening of uh, like a breakup or not being able to break up or not being able to let go. And because of it, you're not able to move on. So right off in May, like this energy is going to hit you or has already hit you in April. And it's so hard for you to see the future. It's so hard for you to know where to go and who to be and what to be. And like why relationships aren't working out. And like why are you feeling uninspired? So that's okay. Like th these questions that are coming up right now, because this is all in the reverse, even though it's upright to you, it's reverse to me. Uh, even though this is happening, like I, like this I can already tell is going to be a game changer of a month for you. Because that's how it starts off. All right? It starts off with, okay. What do we need to do, Gemini? How do we need to change our life? You know? And we have the Page of Wands, the Queen of Swords, both in reverse. Five of Wands. Six of Wands, reverse. I mean, all this energy is the same as up here. Three of Pentacles, reverse. But then we have the King of Cups, beautiful. And then the Seven of Swords. Okay, so this is, this is wonderful. I like how it ends. <clears throat> Okay, so like I was saying, you know, like what do we need to change? Because there's some shifts that need to, needs to happen. Like you want some new things to come in, but they're not coming in yet. We have this energy of a young person, Page of Wands, which is a fire sign. So that's going to be Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And then we have this Queen of Swords, which is an air sign like you, Gemini. So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Both of them are in the reverse. I get the feeling that it's um, like a... A parent child relationship so either you might be the parent or you might be the teacher or in the relationship you are the more mature person and then the other person is um, you know the child or the student or just really immature or acting immature right now but they want your attention they want your attention they want everything from you but you don't have it to give and that's okay you need to let them know that say you know, I'm, I'm tapped out. It's so, it's in some regards, it's very similar to Taurus energy. So call your Taurus friends because you guys can all mend together. But with, with this energy here, especially with the five of wands showing up, like you're going to be fighting against a lot of conflicting energies within yourself. And the reason why this is happening is because this is the time to break free of some things that you no longer need. Like you don't have space for a new relationship. You don't have space for a new job or a new creative venture because you haven't made space for it yet. So having that feeling of, you know, sadness, of lamenting, of I don't know what to do is going to force you into choosing what is important to you. And holding on to what you need to hold on to. Because you're going to have to move on. And you are moving on. But it's just taking a little bit of time. And somebody, I think you're going to start a new relationship the end of the month. And this could be romantic, but I also feel like it's a new um, partnership, uh, like a work partnership of some sorts with an, a water sign. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And they... And they know how to hold space for you, Gemini. They know how to just soothe you into uh, into yourself, soothe you into your into your into a space where you can be you. 
And so the, what they're doing there is they're breaking down all of those feelings of, of, of self-made prison. Of feeling like you can't do it. Of feeling like, no, I don't know what to do now. I'm like kind of spinning out and going in so many different directions that you, you don't go in any. And so this person is kind of guiding you back to yourself so that you can start those new beginnings. So by the end of the month, you start to see that it turn around and you start to have these aha moments of aha. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Yeah, that's what's important to me. Yeah, that's what I need to work on. And so having that at the end is perfect. You went through the cycle, the cycle of where... Where am I? How did I get here? What do I want to be? Who do I want to be? Oh gosh, I'm losing everything. Wait, no, I didn't lose everything. Wait, I know who I am. Let's get this going. That's like the, the path that you go on this month. But you come out of it like breaking free of your own, your own self-made prison. So go through these emotions, go through these moments this month, Gemini, go through that of, oh gosh, what in the world? How am I going to start this new relationship? How am I going to work? How am I going to make this happen? I feel tied to somebody who needs my attention and I can't do it and it's causing me to spin out and causing me not to be able to focus because now I'm getting pulled in all these different directions and I'm not working in my highest. That's what's going on with you this month. So it's tough. Yeah, you definitely have to take a real hard look in the mirror, hard look in the mirror and say, okay, this is not who I want to be. I'm almost there. I'm getting there and I need to push myself there. All right, let's pull from the Mother Wisdom deck. Uh, I'm pulling from the Mother Wisdom deck this month since it's Mother's Day this month. And we have horse freedom you have the freedom to choose you have the freedom to be who it is you need to be you have the freedom to run away <laughs> all right let me pull from the the book freedom at the beginning of our lives and freedom at the end nothing we bring when we come and nothing can we take when we go horse wisdom associated with birth and death bookends our lives our short sojourn on earth is for us to discover how freedom rings in our hearts. What makes you giddy with delight? Horse will take you there. She leads you beyond your limits to places you can't reach with your own two feet. Riding horse, feeling her power surging beneath you. The wind releasing your hair. Who hasn't felt stronger, nobler, freer? As Mary Oliver said, tell me. What is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? All right, Gemini. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, go to my website, find me on Instant Go, and become a patron on Patreon. Okay. Remember, listen to your heart, and your body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings. Blessings.